are you ready to learn how to continuously grow yourself when it comes to working from home and as a bonus i'm doing my loft tour today if this is your first time on my channel my name is leanne lai i have been working from home since i was 15 years old so i've been doing this for a while and i run a virtual assistant agency i run and own basically my own virtual assistant agency here in cebu philippines and i post videos every sunday and thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home so make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos now Today, as I mentioned earlier, I am doing the loft tour. So if you guys have been watching all the way back from when I first posted on uh, early September of me, basically my moving vlog, um, it's been a month basically since I lived here all alone. Um, I've had friends over and other things, but this is relatively my first time um, living in a space that's all by myself. Um, I have been living basically with my second family since I was 18 years old. I'm turning 28 in two weeks, by the way, uh, which is exciting in itself. So I wanted to do a video that was a, um, and I've been doing this kind of videos where it's a crossover of a vlog and at the same time of uh, lessons that I've learned myself in the last 10 years, well, almost 13 years now of working online. So um, I'll first do a little bit of a loft and then I'll do a lesson and a loft and then a lesson. So then I'll keep you guys hooked <laughs> basically throughout this whole thing. Hi, welcome to my loft. So this is basically as you enter, you have my little kitchen here. I'm still organizing and like figuring out how this all look like. Um, I know it's my tone is echoing a little bit. I have this drape here. So like there's a little bit of a privacy for uh, my bathroom because sadly my bathroom only is up to there, up to there. So it doesn't all the way close. I have this as a privacy thing. Plus it looks nicer that way. And then of course we have my workspace right here. So you guys have seen this a couple of times. I even have the prompt open for what kind of video I'm filming today. Of course my laptop, the whole shebang setup. That's my, that's a video, that's the camera I usually use when I am filming. And then we have um, my bookshelf number one, bookshelf number two. And then I'm turning that into bookshelf number three. <laughs> Um, right there. So um, you guys will see all of my books. I am a huge Harry Potter nerd. I have like other stuff here like Percy Jackson series. I like the, you know, of course, Lord of the Rings, everything else. And the rest of my other parts of my mess. So I'm still trying to figure out like how this all looks like. But this is basically what the first floor looks like. This is the background. I basically is, I'm still creating for you guys. So YouTube videos will always look really good. Um, so this is essentially workspace slash living room area. Oh, and then bookspace, bookshelf number four. Basically as well as I guess I'm, I'm still like figuring out where I'm putting a lot of this stuff. But yeah, this is kind of essentially the bottom floor. And basically kind of like a lesson that I have always kind of kept in my mind when I uh, started working online is I would always study books. And as you guys have seen, I have so many bookshelves. Um, I have that one there and I have that one behind me and I have, um, I'll probably have one more. <laughs> um, is, yeah, because the books basically have been, um, like I'm a huge bookworm as you guys can see. And books have been kind of my shortcut of seeing how other people figured it out. Especially in like in my early 20s, I inhaled so many business books just because I found that that was kind of the main way for me to learn the fastest rather than failing forward. For failing first, I was failing forward because whenever I failed, I would read about a book of someone else who maybe have gone through the same thing I did and was able to learn from them. So for a lot of my life, basically, um, it's basically that of like me figuring out what I wanted to do, what where I wanted to go, and then reading about books of people who've been there. And I also have gone through the same thing I have. And uh, I guess that's a that's a good kind of second lesson as well, is when you you choose your mentors, is when you're choosing a mentor, and I've said this before in other videos as well, is when you're choosing a mentor, make sure that it's a person who um, basically uh, has either have, you know, both actually is better, has what you want, and it's been where you are. So what I mean by that is a lot of people follow um, authors like Warren Buffett, authors like um, a little bit of like Robert Kiyosaki when it comes to the finance stuff. But the hard thing about following their advice, it is it's so different how they had to go through and figure it out versus how we have to go through and figure it out. Like a lot of the lessons that they have because they have what we want, which is they are really good. Um, they have, you know, they have wealth, they have all of this growth, they have businesses, all of that good stuff. But 
they didn't go through what we're going through, especially like as a Filipino, like in pressing and socks looks super duper different. Um, like finding out how to do that is a little bit different. But the lesson still in those books that I've read um, is still pretty important because the mindset is still there, the knowledge, the wisdom is still there. But you have to really be mindful of which mentor or who you listen to, basically. Because if the person that you want to follow, they don't really have what you want, they don't really have the lifestyle that you want, but you just are attracted to it, but you don't really want it, why follow that person? Or if that person has what you want, they have this lifestyle that you really want, but they've never really been where you are. You know, they started with a um, richer family or they started at a certain point in their life already before they got to where they are. It might be harder for you to follow their advice or to be able to be basically to their level of success. So it's a really key thing to keep in mind um, for who it is that you follow. Okay, so now I'm bringing you guys to my upstairs. Now, keeping in mind, when I got my loft, I did I prioritized making sure my workspace was set up. That was my first priority. Nothing else mattered. Workspace first. And then I did my kitchen. And then I finally went into and, and did all of this. So sadly, my bedroom, which is the upstairs area, is um hi, uh is was the last thing or still thing that I'm fixing. So you can even see, right as you go up, I have my little um, vision board. I have no idea where to put, put that yet. Um, that's why it's still like at the top of my stairs. And uh, so it might be a little bit of a mess when I bring you guys up there. Just, just keep that in mind. So as we go up, it basically I have this really pretty um, view right off the bat. And then um, we have my bed an extra bed for guests basically so you have my bed um have this beautiful you guys have seen this tapestry of mine before from my sister um and then we have my closet i'm still figuring out where to put my accessories that's me um and then of course we have the closet it has this interesting thing where it has a window to the outside but um yeah that's and i guess another really good way for you to keep growing yourself and going back to talking about how to grow yourself online you guys can hear the aircon. I apologize. I am near where my bedroom is, where the aircon is. Um, is that you have to keep in mind to make a space for yourself. Now, what I mean by this is when you're working from home, you might be doing meetings like me. I'm usually in back-to-back -back meetings the whole day. Or you might be surrounded by family. You might be surrounded by friends or your roommates. And it can be very uh, hard, basically, to make space for yourself. So I always want to put that into the forefront of everyone who's trying to work from home is that you need to have a space for yourself. What I mean by that is you need to carve out time for you to study, to learn. You need to carve out, carve out time for you to do your hobbies, the things that you love doing, because it does pour back to yourself. You know, I've said this in so many videos of you can't pour from an empty cup. So if you are trying to figure out how to do this whole work from home things, it has to be part of your priority other than growing is you have to make space for yourself, make space for yourself to pour into yourself. And that's something, honestly, that I have been going through a little bit in the last couple of days is that I have been focused on, you know, I, I on my Instagram, I do daily stories of like, hey, checking in, this is what I'm doing today. Um, and in the last couple of days, I kind of paused doing that because I wasn't in a good state. I needed to pour into myself. And again, that's how important it is. So just keep that in mind of if you want to grow, you have to also take care of the place of where you want to grow from um, and not just rush yourself through, burning yourself out, overworking, overwhelming yourself. Don't be me, basically, uh, and make space for yourself. Now back to the loft tour. So that's basically it. That's that's kind of where I sleep. It's kind of where my clothes are. I'm probably going to add another uh, bookshelf that'll go underneath here. Yeah, my place is basically just small enough that this is kind of a short tour of it and yes i have just been doing this basically while i've been filming but um yeah that's kind of that's kind of my space guys it's not really there's not really much um it's mostly just been honestly just books and books um that i have a lot here and uh the things that i bought and collected over the years so um that's kind of this the vlog the room tour vlog is basically just this <laughs> Which does bring me to the next lesson that I wanted to talk to you guys about of how to grow yourself when you're working from home is just kind of keep in mind uh, that baby steps. 
That's basically what it is. I'm just going to go into this whole long rant. Um, but keep in mind that you can do baby steps. Like I have been trying to do a little bit of baby steps for myself and it's okay to take baby steps. Sometimes you do have to take leaps. Sometimes you do have to take like risks and maybe scratch yourself, maybe hurt yourself. But it's okay to take baby steps, especially when you're, you know, you're not feeling that well. You're not all there. And, and that's okay because it's kind of like any other career, any other kind of business, any kind of thing. Just because you're working from home doesn't mean it's stress-free. When you're working from home, the stress is still there, but it just looks kind of different. So keep in mind that it's okay to take baby steps. But keep in mind that it's okay. It's, it's like making sure that you give a little kindness to yourself, making sure that you're taking care of yourself because you're doing this for the long run, aren't you? started to rain as I'm vlogging and it's really like, I don't know I like I like the rain very very much and as a last bit of tidbit when it comes to continuously growing yourself when it comes to working from home is keep in mind that you can stack your skills you can be the best basically when it comes to you know being a graphic artist being a social media um, assistant being a virtual assistant but you have to also focus on your soft skills. You have to keep in mind that you can't just be the master of the main skill that you do. You also have to be a master when it comes to time management, when it comes to people management, when it comes to being kind, being a leader, being a manager, basically, if that's your goal. It's keeping in mind that soft skills or human skills, as Simon Sinek calls them, is just as important as your hard skills. And Hopefully you guys can still hear me and it's raining really, really hard outside. But for me, like as someone who has hired a lot of people, who's managed and trained a lot of people, your soft skills really is where it's at. So keep that in mind, like as you are figuring out and carving your own space in this world of working online, working from home, that uh, it is really that important to also work on yourself, on who you are and developing yourself. That's why a lot of my books are not just business books, but self-development books, because I need to learn how to manage myself, how to take care of myself before I can manage and take care of other people. So keep that in mind as well. Now I will wrap up here. I know this is a relatively shorter video than I usually do, but there wasn't really much for you guys to look at in my loft because it's tiny and it's just for me. I might do more and more of a living solo diaries on my TikTok and my Instagram. Feel free to follow me on there as well. And if you guys like this video, of course, hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below. Uh, what are your lessons or what are the things that you do to continue to grow yourself? And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there. So don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. And make sure to check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I remember that small steps matters. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.